Hey everybody, this is Pastor Dane Johansson from Agros Reform Baptist Church in Gilbert, Arizona. I am teaching some of our church members Koine Greek, and well, part of what we're doing is going through uh, Machen's New Testament Greek for Beginners. So as you see, I basically think if you've made it past Lesson 4, um, and you understand what's going on, this video will be helpful for you. This is really when people start having a little bit of trouble. Um, just kind of walk through it and, and basically, and then we'll do the most important part, which is the English to Greek uh, translation exercises over here in the Word document. But um, we will still go through the Greek to English, but just out loud. And I recommend that to people as well, <clears throat> as they're pretty much doing any text that has both Greek to English translation exercises and uh, English to Greek. Uh, just do the Greek to English out loud um, and, and then check your work that way. There's no reason really to write it down because by the time you get to the part that's really important, which is producing Greek, um, you're kind of burned out. So anyway, this is lesson five. He covers the first declension and uh, verbs and things like that. So let's look at the vocabulary. Again, this is e alithia, which means the, because there's a definite article, truth. So I don't know why he puts, uh, he doesn't put the definite article, but either way, it's fine. As you're learning, just remember the definite article there means the, and so this is feminine, e alithia, truth. E vasilia. Uh, the kingdom, or without the definite article, it's a kingdom. E graphi, the writing, the scripture. E doxa, the glory. E irini, the peace. E ecclesia, the church. E endoli. Now, if you remember this, uh, this, uh, Nitav, when it starts a word, so if there wasn't that epsilon there, you would say it as duh, just doli, but because there's the uh, epsilon before it, uh, it gets the uh, ni sound, the n sound, so en doli, e en doli, the commandment, <coughs> e zoe, the life, e imera, the day, e Cardia, the heart. E paravoli, the parable. That's pretty easy. E phoni, the voice. So like a telephone, phone, sound, voice, noise. E psihi. So again, the epsilon is not uh, pronounced as a u, but as uh, an iota or an English i when we have a long i. So psihi. E psihi. The soul, the life. E ora. I think it's the same as Spanish. Uh, ora. So e ora, an hour, the hour. So here we have, he says, point 47, all the nouns of the first declension ending in alpha or eta are feminine. That is true. Uh, the declension of ora, e ora, the hour, is as follows. And we have nominative or vocative, so nominative is like a subject, vocative is when you're addressing. So if you're to say, oh, ora, oh, hour, you know, how have you come to me, oh, hour, that kind of thing, the vocative, you're addressing, you're addressing hour. But it can also be a nominative, which um, is more common. Vocative is not as common. Um, but still, you know, put it to memory. Again, this is something that having learned the, uh, when you get to learning in this book, but I make my students learn it. Probably one of the first things they do is learn the definite article paradigm. So they already are ready for, uh, you know, ta, ora, uh, a, a, i, ora, uh, you know, tas, oras, ti, ora, tan, oran, or tin, oran, all that kind of stuff. And these endings already make sense to them because they know the definite article. Uh, genitive is usually possessive, although dative can also be possessive at times. So ora, ora. Um, you see the Yoda subscript there. It's a dead giveaway of dative. Oran, an accusative, so an object of a sentence. And here it tells you that the stem of ora 
is Ora. So everything has been added on here. You see there's Ora in all of these except for when here in the genitive plural, uh, the alpha lengthened to an omega. Even the rest of it, it stayed the same. <clears throat> so you can read through that on your own. Uh, you know, it's, it's good to make yourself familiar with this. Um, obviously, some of these early ones you definitely want to put to memory, and just one of the best ways to do it is write over and over. So I would get on a piece of paper or my computer and write uh, graphi, uh, writing, scripture, graphis of a writing or scripture, graphi to a writing or scripture, graphin, the writing or scripture, grafe, writings, scriptures, graphon, of the writings and scriptures, or of the writings or scriptures, grafes, to the writings and scriptures, grafas, the scriptures, the writings. So I would just seriously go, that's a method I learned, just kind of wrote for this stuff. Um, some of this stuff you just have to learn rote, and then the rest kind of comes intuitively. So let's look at the Greek to English exercises here. And again, we'll just go through them in an audio form. And um, I'll basically, I'll say it twice in Greek and then translate it. Uh, this will help you even if you just want to listen along to getting this in your mind. So here we have psychi vlepi zoin. Psychi vlepi zoin. So this is in the nominative. A soul, it's, there's, there's no E before it, so it's, it can't be a definite article, so we add in an indefinite article in English. A soul sees uh, the life, or uh, life, a life. You can, you can translate those ways. Probably the best is a soul sees life. So a soul, it sees, you see, uh, instead of vlepo or vlepping, to see or I see, we have vlepi. Uh, that's the personal ending right there of that verb. Uh, present active indicative showing that it, this is what this singular noun is doing. Psychi vlepi zoin, and this is an accusative. Vasil, number two. Vasilia yinoski alithian. Vasilia yinoski alithian. So, a kingdom knows the truth. A kingdom knows truth. Vasilia yinoski alithian. Number three, anthropos graphi, graphi endolas kenomos. Anthropos graphi endolas kenomos. A man writes, man he writes again, see that, uh, endolas, so plural, commandments, and ke, so connects these two thoughts, uh, nomos and laws. A man writes commandments and laws. Number four, apostoli lamvanusi dulus ke dora ke ecclesias. Apostoli lamvanusi dulus ke dora ke ecclesias. Apostles receive or take lamvanusi, they, see the, the ending there, lamvan is the uh, stem, and then they add in the personal ending here. Sometimes you'll see a movable knee there at the end, so it would be lamvanusin, lamvanusin, but uh, because the next uh, word is not starting with a vowel, it doesn't necessarily need a movable new. So we have apostoli lamvanusi, apostles receive or take dulus, servants, ke dora, and gifts, ke ecclesias, and churches. Apostoli lamvanusi, dulus, ke dora, ke ecclesias. Apostles take servants and gifts and churches. Number five. Apostoli Ke ecclesia vlepusi zoin ke thanaton. <coughs> Sorry, I got kind of confused going through here. Apostoli <coughs> ke ecclesia vlepusi zoin ke thanaton. <coughs> so, apostles and churches see life and death. So, we kind of have two subjects here, is what it seems like. <clears throat> That's actually um, kind of forming as one. Apostoli, apostles, uh, plural. You see the nominative plural, masculine. Ke, and ecclesia, churches, the feminine nominative plural ending there. So what do 
Apostoli ke ecclesiae do. They vlepusi. They see. So vlep and then usi. Vlepusi. They see. Apostoli ke ecclesiae vlepusi. Zoin ke thanaton. They see. What do they see? Life and death. <clears throat> Number six. Ios dulu legi paravolin ecclesia. Ios dulu legi paravolin ecclesia. So, uh, a son of a servant. A son of a servant. Ios dulu legi. This is what he does. And again, you see that personal ending there. Legi. He speaks or he says. Paravolin. A parable. An accusative. Ecclesia. To a church. So you don't have T Ecclesia before it because it's a, there's no definite article, but it's in the dative here. You can see again, tall tale sign of a dative, and the singular is that Yoda subscript. So paravolin Ecclesia, a parable to a church. Ios dulo legi paravolin Ecclesia. Number seven, paravolin legomen ke endolin ke nomon. Paravolin legomen ke endolin ke nomon. When you have two kes there, the word for and, it can be both and. So, I mean, you could translate and, a commandment, and a law, but usually, especially in ancient Greek, you'll see both a commandment and a law. So, paravolin legomen ke endolin ke nomon. A parable. Uh, so where's the subject here? People get confused with this. And Machen, especially in these early chapters, will kind of throw you for a loop here so you really pay attention to what you're reading. Um, para, paravolin legomen. We, see there's the ending there. So that actually is the subject, legomen. Omen is the subject right there. We do something. We speak. A parable, we speak. So we speak a parable, just reverse that. Uh, both... I get, yeah, okay, sorry, I should have uh, redone this. So, paravolin legomen ke endolin ke nomon. I jumped ahead and saw the ke, the ke, and uh, kind of messed up there. So, scratch all that. Uh, a parable and a commandment and a law uh, we speak. So, paravolin legomen ke endolin ke nomon. So, even somebody who's been studying Greek a while, like me, uh, got caught up because of Machen. So, thanks, Machen. Uh, we tell, we speak a parable and a commandment and a law. Paravolin legomen ke endolin ke nomon. All right, verse 8. Verse 8. Uh, uh, number 8. Sentence 8. Exercise 8. Vasilias yinoskete ke ecclesias. So what's going on there? Yino. So again, here's the ending. Ete. Ete. Instead of yinoskin, to know. Or yinosko, I know, we have ete, which is ye, uh, or you plural, or y'all. Yinoskete, so again, we have the subject inside of the verb, and it's uh, following a noun, so it's kind of trying to mess you up there. Yinoskete, we, or ye know, ete, ye know, thou all know, you all know, um, Yinoskete vasilias ke ecclesias, or vasilias yinoskete ke ecclesias. So ye know <coughs> kingdoms and churches. So this is plural. Tas vasilias. Uh, that would be with the um, definite article. So this is plural, as, and then as. Uh, kingdoms and churches ye know, or ye know kingdoms and churches. Number nine, ecclesian didaski apostolos ki vasilian dulos. So again, he kind of mixes everything up, and you can do this in Greek, uh, but he's especially doing this to teach you. So where's the subject? Who's doing what? Well, we see a verb here, didaski, with the personal ending, he, she, it teaches. So where is the subject? Oh, apostolos, that's it. A, an apostle teaches. Uh, ecclesian ke vasilian dulos. 
Um, again, he's kind of tried to uh, kind of mess you up there, but I, I get the way you could translate this is an apostle teaches a church and a slave a kingdom. So, apostolos vivaski ecclesian, so teen ecclesian, that would be in the accusative. An apostle teaches a church and he teaches, again, that's kind of implied, a servant, a kingdom. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's trying to show you all the uh, endings, etc. Number 10, nomon que para volin anthropos ecclesia. So dative to a church. Uh, here's ton nomon, uh, a law, an accusative, ke, conjunction, para volin, teen, para volin would be. The accusative singular, grafi anthropos, uh, again the personal ending there of the verb. So anthropos is doing the grafi, the man or a man is writing to a church uh, a law and a parable. So a man writes a law and a parable to uh, a church. Number 11, cardia anthropon echusin zoin ke irini. Cardia anthropon. Uh, hearts of men, hearts of men, cardia. So that's a plural, it would be e cardia, hearts, anthropon, genitive, plural, of anthrop, anthropos, a man. So of men, possessive, cardia, hearts of men, echusin, they have, so we have usi again from echo or echin, uh, usi, they have, zoin kerinin. They have life and peace, both in the accusative. The hearts of man have life and peace. Number 12. Phoni apostolon vivaski psychas dulu. So, a noise, a sound, a voice. I think they want to use voice here. So, a voice, apostolon vivaski psychas dulu. This is, again, another tricky one. You could do uh, a voice of apostles teaches. So actually this subject isn't apostolon, it's phoni. So the voice teaches. The voice is doing the thidaski. Uh, personal ending there. He, she, it. So third person singular. Present active indicative. Thidaski. Uh, he, she, it teaches. And the it is the phoni. A voice teaches... Uh, Psychas, and the, and the voice is the voice of the apostles. So the voice of the apostles, it belongs to apostolon. Uh, and you'll, you'll always see the genitive usually following. It's, it's hardly ever before. So it wouldn't be apostolon phoni, it would be phoni apostolon. Um, even though because of the endings, it doesn't really matter with word order there. Phoni apostolon, a voice of apostles, divaski that voice of the apostles teaches psychas dulon, uh, souls of slaves or servants. I don't like to translate slaves, even though you can, I guess. Psychas dulon. So, a voice of apostles teaches uh, souls of servants. 13. Ora echi doxan. An hour has glory. It's kind of an easy one. An hour has glory. So an hour, ora, ehi. Uh, he, she, it has. Voxan, teen voxan would be accusative. Uh, has glory. 14. Phone ecclesion vivascusi vasilias que anthropos. Phone ecclesion vivascusi vasilias que anthropos. So sounds or voices, phone, that's e, phone, so nominative, singular, feminine, phone, ecclesion, so the voices of churches, ecclesion, so biton ecclesion. What are they doing? What are the noises or the voices of churches doing? They are vivascusin. They are teaching, so usi, they teach. Vivascusi, they teach. Vasilias que anthropus. That's what they're doing. Voices of churches, 
churches. That wouldn't be good. Voices of churches teach kingdoms and men. Fon ecclesion didascusi basilias ke anthropus, both in the accusative. Tas ecclesias and tus anthropus. 15. Vlepis dora ke doxan. Where's the subject? It is in the verb. Is, so second person, singular, present active indicative of vlepping to see or vlepo, I see. Vlepis. Ye, you see, or thou seest, Zora, uh, a gift, and Zoxan, and a glory. Actually, sorry, Zora would be uh, plural, so ta Zora. Vlepis Zora, you see, or thou seest, gifts, and teen Zoxan, the glory accusative. Here we have. 16. Graphi Ecclesia Logon Zois. Where is the subject? Anybody know? <laughs> Nobody's going to answer because it's online, right? I uh, was actually waiting. That's pretty sad. He writes a word of life to a church. He writes. It's again in there, the third person singular, present active indicative of graphin. To write, or grapho, I write, is graphi, he, she, it writes. Ecclesia, again, dative, to a church, logon zois. So logon zois is a word of life. He writes a word of life to a church. 17. Legi cardies anthropon paravolin kenomon. Again, where is the subject? It's contained in the uh, verb here, legi, he, she, it, speaks or says. Cardies, so tes, cardies would be dative plural. Um, he says two hearts of men, anthropon, paravolin, a parable, ke, nomon, and la. He speaks, he speaks a parable and a law to the hearts of men. Legi, cardies, anthropon, paravolin, ke, nomon. 18. Grapi ecclesia ios apostolo. Ios would be the subject there. It's in the nominative singular masculine. Ios, son. So, o ios, the son. Ios grafi. He's the one grafiing. So, grafi, he, she, it writes or is writing. Ios is the one doing that. So, the son or a son, sorry, a son writes to a church, ecclesia, dative, with a you know, subscript there, apostol, so the son of the apostle, of an apostle, a son of an apostle, ios apostol, grafi ecclesia, a son of an apostle writes to a church. Let me get a drink here for a second. Sorry about that. All right, section two, translating into Greek. This is the part that really matters, and I would spend the most time on this. Say you're, you know, cruising along, you get through 11, uh, translating out loud and checking your, your work and all that, and you're just like, I'm over this, I'm burned out, and I just want to get uh, done with the Greek to English, move right into the English to Greek. Uh, you could even do that from the outset, but... This will help with vocab and dialing things in. Now, this is usually the part people have the most trouble with, and it is the most hard, but it is the part that teaches you the most about Greek. So, a kingdom. Uh, Vasilia. A kingdom takes glory. Takes. Lamvani. So, a kingdom takes glory. We want to use the accusative, so... Uh, a kingdom, Vasilia Lamvani, takes uh, glory, or a glory. Teen Voxan would be it. So, uh, ignore all. Yeah, it's going to be ugly. Number two of the English to Greek. 
churches are saying parables, so that's present tense. You could even just say churches say or speak parables to hearts of men. Let's, uh, hearts of men, let's start with that part, that little, that little chunk, two hearts of men. So it would be, car, uh, you got to use the dative plural, cardia, so feminine, cardia, ignore all, I'm done. Cardia, two hearts, uh, tes, sorry, cardias, two hearts of men, which would be on on uh, two hearts of men on thropon and then we want to have uh, who's doing what churches are saying so we'll add that ecclesia ecclesia so churches that's the plural Ecclesia, and they speak or are speaking, so leg would be the stem, lego is I speak, so they speak would be uh, usi, oops, usi. Ecclesia leg usi, uh, we're looking for, churches are saying parables, so now we need uh, plural parables, which would be para 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 vo las tas so be para vo las so ecclesia lego sin para vo las cardias anthropon churches are saying or say or speak parables plural two hearts of men cardias anthropon now let's take a look at number three and translate that we're just going to have to deal with the red. I'm sorry about that. If anyone knows how to get rid of that, please tell me and show me. A heart of man is teaching an apostle, and a vo voice of an apostle is teaching a servant. So this is a little bit longer, more complex. It's got two parts to it in the sentence. So let's do a heart. Cardia. Cardia. A heart. Nominative singular, a heart of a man. So, of a man is all contained in the word uh, on thropu, on thropu, of a man, genitive, to anthropu. Cardia anthropu, the heart of a man, is teaching. So, remember what teaching is? The thasking to teach, the thasko, I teach. So, they, uh, or he, she, it, teaches, the man, the heart of the man teaches, um, the vaski, he, she, it teaches, an apostle, so we're going to use the accusative, aposto, sorry, that's not what it, yeah, apostolon, ton apostolon, a heart of a man is teaching an apostle, cardian thropu with the vaski apostolon. And ke, so it connects the two. And a voice, uh, you would switch back again to the nominative singular feminine. Phoni, ke phoni, because it's basically two sentences smashed together in a way. Uh, phoni, a voice of an apostle. So now we're going to use the uh, genitive here. Phoni aposto stolu. Ke phoni apostolu. What do we have after that? Is teaching a servant. So again, the vaski. She it teaches, which is the noise or the voice of an apostle, teaches or is teaching a servant. So again, we're going to want to use uh, the accusative here. Zulon. Cardia anthropu, heart, a heart of man, didaski, the heart of man teaches, or a heart of man teaches, apostolon, an apostle, ke and phoni apostolo, the voice of an apostle, didaski teaches, zulon, a servant. 
we have writings of apostles. So we have would be Echomen. Uh, That's pretty easy, Echomen. So no, we, we don't have to write we. And in fact, in I don't think we've even so far in Machen learned the word for we, which is emis. Uh, emis. So you'll learn that later. But you could just simply say Echomen. We have <coughs> we have writings. So eh. Be the uh, we have to be toss, right? Toss, yeah. Echomen toss grafas. Grafas. Echomen, we have writings. Echomen grafas of apostles. So, op, uh, apostolon. Apostolon. That's right, yeah. Apostolon. Echomen grafas apostolon. We have writings of apostles. So genitive plural ton apostolon. Excuse me, I'm tired here. Alright. We have writings of apostles. Number five. Churches have peace and glory. Churches. Uh ecclesia would be plural. Ecclesia. Ecclesia. Ecclesia, so churches, plural, nominative, feminine. E ecclesia, churches, have, so if echomen is we have, and echin is to have, and echo is I have, what would churches, plural, be? They have, so uh, echo, see. Churches have peace, actually you have to put in there because of Irinin, churches have peace, Irinin, and ke, what else do they have? P er, glory. Voxon. Uh, Voxon. So, churches, ecclesia, have, they have, echosin, Irinin, uh, a peace, or peace, and Okay, Voxan and Glory. Number six, a day sees life and death. So a day, does anybody know what a day is? It's Imera. Imera, a day. So nominative singular feminine. A day sees, he, she, it sees. Vlapi. A day sees life. So it would be an accusative. Zoween sees life, ke, death, and death, tha, tha, yeah, tha, na, ton, again, accusative, so ton, tha, na, ton, teen, zoween, uh, those would be the definite articles to go with them, so, e, e, meta, the day, or just a day, e, meta, vlepi, so it's the one doing the verb, a day sees, zoween, life, Thanaton and death. Number seven, apostles take temples. So, apostoli, plural, e apostoli, plural, nominative, masculine, singular, apostoli. Oh, it would actually be apostoli. Yeah, I'm used to that. Apostoli, apostoli. Apostles, they take. So what does they take? Well, if lamvanin is to take, lamvano is I take. We've seen what they, because they is the apostoli, the apostles. <coughs> apostles take, so lamvanu, see? And we're going to put a mobile new because I... Era, era. They see temples, era, ke, kingdoms, va, si, lias, tas, vasilias, kingdoms, ta, era, temples, apostoli, lamvanusi, era, ke, vasilias, apostles, take, uh, receive temples and kingdoms.
I, oh, sorry, it's supposed to be churches, I'm sorry. Uh, apostles, number seven is apostles take temples and... Uh, no, okay, yeah, I keep getting confused with number eight. So Vasi... Vasilias... Yeah, so Vasi... Vasi... Stas Vasilias... Actually, I spelled it correctly, so I need to go back anyway. All worked out. Number eight, we see vlepomen. We see houses. Remember the Greek yogurt, ikos, means house, home, dwelling place. We see houses, so ikis. We see ikis. I don't know. Actually, it should be accusative, so that would be ikos. See, it's much harder to translate into Greek. I even still have a problem with it. Tus ikus. So, vlepomen ikus. We see houses. Ke temples would be uh, yera again. Yera. Vlepomen ikus ke yera. We see houses and temples. Number eight. And churches. Okay. Ke. Uh, ecclesias, I think. Ecclesias. Ecclesian. No, ecclesias, yeah. Ecclesias. Perfect, okay. Ecclesias. Vlepomen ikus ke ira ke ecclesias. We see homes and temples and churches. Number nine. A servant says a parable to hearts of men. A servant, which would be Lulos, a servant, so nominative, singular, masculine. A servant, Lulos, says, Legi, Paravolin, a parable to hearts. We kind of done this already. Caravias, Caravias, uh, on thropon dulos legi para volin caradias anthropon a servant says or speaks a parable to hearts of men so dative to hearts of men caradias anthropon number 10 moving right along Two more left. We know voices of churches and words of truth. We know. So, ye no. Ye no. Skolmen. So, omen is we right there. Omen. Uh, that's what we means right there. We do something. So, ye no skolmen. Uh, first person plural, present active indicative of ye no skin. Uh, which is to know, so ye nosko men, we know, voices, Ooh. so this has got to have to be uh, accusative, uh, fonas, vitas fonas, yes, ye nosko men, fonas, okay, ye nosko men, fonas, we know voices of churches, so this is going to have to be dative plural, or genitive plural, ekli, See, so we see on, yeah. So, actually, see on. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Actually, see on. Ah, it's because it's the wrong accent. Actually, see on. Actually, see. No, it should be actually see on. Okay. You know, come in for us, actually see on. So we know voices of churches. Ke and words, logos, tus logos, so it'd be the plural accusative, tus logos, logos of truth, singular. Ali dias would be the accusative. Yenoskomen, we know, fonas ecclesion, voices, or voices of churches, 
Yes, voices of churches, ke logos alithias, and words of truth. So the only singular thing in this whole sentence is alithias. All right, last one, 11, a voice. Uh, phony, phony, a voice. Apostolu. Apostolu. A voice of an apostle, phony apostolu, says, legi, since it's singular, a parable, paravolin, two souls, psikes, maybe, psikes, psikes, yep, legi paravolin, psikes anthropon, because it's plural, um, Thropon. So that's pretty easy. Phoni apostolu, a voice of apostles, legi, speaks, paravolin, a parable, psiches, two souls, anthropon, of men. So that's uh, lesson five or chapter five in Machen's New Testament Greek for Beginners, guys. Um, I hope you found this helpful. If you find any comments of how to make this better, or if you find anything that you think uh, I could have improved on in any way whatsoever, or especially in the English to Greek, you find any errors that I left behind, uh, please do tell me so I can fix it. We can learn together. Awesome, guys. I hope you enjoyed this and it was helpful in your studies in the Greek language. God bless you. Goodbye.